When the technology of photography emerged, it was once considered the most authentic evidence and used as evidence in court. However, people later discovered that photos could also be faked, such as the famous fake fairy photo in the UK in 1917, which is considered one of the biggest hoaxes of the 20th century. In the 1930s, a series of fake photos also appeared in the United States, including the famous giant grasshopper and false stories of hunting and killing grasshoppers, as well as giant pumpkins and giant catfish. The photo above is believed to be one of the most famous photos of the giant grasshopper. It is believed to have been first published in the Daily Forum, a local newspaper, on September 14, 1937. The report said that a man named Butts and his friend shot this giant grasshopper in an orchard. This big guy could break branches when jumping on trees. It was later proved to be a prank by Butts and his friend, possibly to boost newspaper sales. To be honest, the second photo is still very well made, but it can't compare to the photo above of the battle with the grasshopper. It is impeccable in terms of light and shadow, and you can't see any traces of stitching. The actual situation may be that a man named Thomas Talcott Hersey made a metal grasshopper after suffering from a locust plague and named it, Speeding Gaudi. He displayed the work to the public and charged a fee. Later, perhaps for promotional purposes, he found two nephews to take this combat photo. It must be shocking to see a grasshopper pushing a locomotive. The picture is an exaggerated photo from the promotional postcards made by Frank D. Connard. At that time, the United States suffered from a locust plague, so postcards with grasshopper themes appeared. These photos were usually created using the technique of superimposing two photos, and they were obviously unrealistic, but many people at that time believed that giant grasshoppers really existed. It is said that Frank D. Connard happened to experience a locust plague, and a large group of grasshoppers were attracted by the city lights and poured into the city, which gave him inspiration to create this series of bizarre photos. This photo of the giant grasshopper plowing the land also comes from the hands of Frank D. Connard, but it looks obviously fake. Frank D. Connard claimed that making these fake photos was not to discredit his hometown, but just for fun. At that time, there were many similar photos, and they were distributed in many places in North America. Some were pranks, and some were for promotional purposes. Below are some examples.